am Lisa Challenger and welcome to today's show on Beach and Beyond. We are here in Ocean City at Sunset Park and we're going to hear about all the great summer fun you can have in Ocean City that is free. We're also heading up to Rehoboth to talk to Rex and then over to Fishtails talking with Sean about that crazy fun event that they do there. Heading down to the Ocean City Fish Company and seeing what's on their menu and then down to the Ocean City Golf Club and talking to Buddy. So we have a great show in store. Don't go anywhere. Your screen porch is always there, but you really can't use it when it's cold, windy, and rainy. Until now. With a porch protection system, you can turn your screened-in porch into a year-round casual area. No more wet furniture. No more sweeping up pollen. Look at this test. 70 degrees on the porch and only a foot away, 17 degrees outside. Choose from over 20 colors. Sold all over the USA, but made right here on Delmarva. Love your porch again with porch protection systems. Call to schedule a free estimate today. Don't let the price of summer fun get you down. Go to KillerCouponBook.com and get incredible deals all over town. Restaurants, amusement parks, golf, water sports, and so much more. Go to KillerCouponBook.com, pick your coupons, print them, and go have fun. It's really that easy. KillerCouponBook.com Casino at Ocean Downs. More sun, more fun than ever before. And we're turning up the heat with hot slots, video poker, and electronic table games. Plus live entertainment, live and simulcast racing, and great dining. We're just a quick spin from Ocean City, Maryland. And we're home to the $600,000 jackpot winner. So come to where the fun shines. Plan your trip to Casino at Ocean Downs today. 10 minutes from Ocean City in Berlin, Maryland. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, Worcester County Tourism Director, and welcome to today's show on Beach and Beyond. We are here with some very familiar faces that I'm sure you all know in the tourism world in Ocean City. We have Melanie Purcell, who's the Executive Director of the Ocean City Chamber of Commerce. Donna Abbott is the Director of Tourism for Ocean City, and Susan Jones is the Executive Director of the Ocean City Hotel Motel Restaurant Association. Whew, it's a mouthful. <laughs> no. Thank you, and we're here in gorgeous downtown Ocean City at uh, Sunset Park, and I'm going to start with you, Melanie. We chose this venue because we are talking today about free summer fun in Ocean City, and tell us what goes on here in the summer. Well, this is an absolutely beautiful venue, amazing backdrop, and every Thursday evening we have um, a free event called Sunset Park Party Nights. Um, it's in partnership with the Ocean City Development Corporation in the town of Ocean City. They have amazing entertainment. It's beautiful. Though. Beautiful it's backdrop. Gorgeous. Watch the sunset. Um, starts at 7 o'clock. And, you know, bring your chairs, sit here. They have refreshments. It's just an amazing, amazing free event here in Ocean City. Great. So families, kids, adults. Yep. And fine. I think the refreshments are to benefit the OC Rec Boosters. Rec Boosters. Is that yes. correct? Yes. yes. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. So this is downtown. And if people are staying up north and they want to do something closer to where they're staying, Tell us about what goes on at Northside Park. Well, every Sunday we have the Sundays in the Park, which is a phenomenal event. Again, another concert series. Um, we start that at nine or seven o'clock till nine, and then we end that with a fireworks display over the bay, which is amazing. Um, you can make your own ice cream Sunday for a small fee, yeah, yeah. but the event itself is free. So you know, bring the kids, bring the pets, bring your family, your blankets, chairs. Another beautiful, another facility. beautiful, amazing facility yeah. we have here in Ocean City, right on the bay. Great. And Donna, we know Ocean City has really been pushing free events to uh, have families and, and folks who come down here be able to spend time in Ocean City without spending money. So tell us about some of the other events that Ocean City is doing that are free. Well, you know, almost every night of the week you're going to find something in addition to the events that Melanie was talking about. And over on the boardwalk and the beach in the North Division Street area, every Sunday night we do a laser light show. There's three shows every Sunday night starting at 9.30 and then they have fireworks also associated with those. And, then and that's a really cool show if you've never seen it. It is. It's a big really giant beach it's huge. Yeah. Right. Very cool. unique. I think we're one of yeah. a kind with that. Yes, yes we, we are. are. Cool. So we had the beach uh, laser light show. Um, just off the boardwalk at North Division Street. It's a spectacular show. You can't miss it if you're anywhere along the boardwalk, really. And uh, there's fireworks associated with that. And then on Monday and Tuesday evenings, we also have fireworks alone on the beach in the North Division Street area. So those are three nights in a row right there. And then on Wednesday nights, we shift to the Caroline Street stage right on the beach where we have free beach concerts every Wednesday night. So and that's a great stage. It, it really is. is. It's beautiful. It is. Yep. You can bring your beach chairs or your beach towels or blankets and just spread out on the beach and enjoy. Grab a bite uh, to eat on the boardwalk. Yeah, sit and watch a concert. Right it's all on a good day. Absolutely. 
Yeah, nothing like a concert with and, your toes in the sand. <laughs> and, and talk a little bit about the um, the Beach Olympics. The Family Beach Olympics, that's a Tuesday night activity on the beach at 27th Street, which is at the north end of the boardwalk. Uh, families can show up and participate in relay races, sand sculpting contests. It's just a lot of fun to see the families out there having a good time. I mean, we take it for granted at the beach, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but our visitors don't get to see it as often. So get to work off some little tug of war. <laughs> yeah, work, work off those fries. Um, so yeah, so that's a great family activity as well. And Susan, something that seems to be growing in popularity in Ocean City are these movies on the beach. They really are fantastic. The town started out with doing the movies Mondays and, when, and Friday nights, which still happens on 27th Street. Those are free movies, plop your chair in the sand. And now hotels are picking it up. So on Wednesday nights, you have the carousel up on 118th Street doing their free movies on the beach. And on Tuesday night, the castle in the sand on 37th is doing the movies on the beach. So it's really great. You can purchase some food at the facilities at the hotel, plop your chair down, and really relax and enjoy. It's great. So no matter yes. where you are in Ocean City, there's these things that are really accessible and available, and as Donna said, just about every single night of the week. So if people want to get more information and get specific information on who's performing and what movie is playing, they're going to go to ococean.com. Yes. And you can get all that information again on ococean.com. Ladies, it's been great as yeah, usual. Thanks for having us. Thank so it's great to see you. Come on down to Ocean City. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, Worcester County Tourism Director. And thanks for joining us today on Beach and Beyond. We are here in America's coolest small town, which is Berlin, with Ivy Wells, Economic Development Director for the town of Berlin. Hello. Ivy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, we all know Berlin is really cool, and there's lots of reasons why they're so cool. But we're going to talk a little bit about all of the restaurants and the variety of yes. choices that people have if they want to come to Berlin to eat. Yes, correct? and the, the number one question that I get where should we eat? Where should we eat for lunch, for dinner, dessert, coffee? What should we do? And so this is a great choice where we're standing in front of today. Oh, which baked is dessert, baked cafe. dessert. Oh, coffee, yes. lunches, desserts. The town dessert, which is the oh, peach right. dumpling. The peach dumpling right they do here. here. Okay. Yeah, very good. So let's go shall visit. we go? Let's go visit another place, why don't we? Alright, let's do it. So now we're on the back deck at Blacksmith. This is one of Berlin's newest restaurants. Yes. Great farm to table. Chef owned. Justine. Love this place. Inside, outside, this craft back beer. Deck is so cozy. So here we are at the Globe. Copper Top Bar, Sunday brunch, upstairs art gallery. Visit the Globe. And we're at Siculi's Rustic Italian Kitchen. Tell us yes. what's going on in here. Everything homemade, homemade desserts, the best eggplant parmesan I have ever had. Best Italian on the Eastern Shore. Absolutely. Cupcakes and Bloom, second place in Cupcake Wars. If you love sweets, gotta try it. All this touring in Berlin has made us thirsty, and we're here at the Berlin Tavern. Time for a beer. Sounds good to me. Here we are at Drummer's Cafe in the historic Atlantic Hotel, celebrating its 120th anniversary this year. Great place. And we're wrapping up our tour today at the Berlin Coffee House, where they have fresh in-house organic coffees and... And you can get the Burley Bay Root Beer Float with Burley Oak Root Beer and Chesapeake Bay Farms Homemade Ice Cream. What could be better than that? So make sure you come by America's coolest small town. Berlin, Maryland. Thanks, Ivy. Thank you, Lisa. So we're back again to talk about a special event, uh, steals and deals on staying in Ocean City. And Susan, I'm looking at you because this is an event you started, I believe, yes. Ocean City Hotel Week. It was Tell really kind of come, an idea that came together as a result of Ocean City Restaurant Week being so successful. So the model for it is great deals at a time of year when the hotels need it, but it's also a really beautiful time to vacation. The crowds are thinner. It's August 28th to September 11th, excluding Labor Day weekend. So it's more than a week. Exactly. Yeah. So it's two Hotel weeks. weeks. <laughs> and the hotels actually put out some really good deals. So really good it deals. could be like stay three nights, get your fourth night free, or stay 
four nights get 20% off. So everything is listed on the website, OceanCityHotelWeek.com. But it really is a time that's so gorgeous in Ocean City. And we have other beautiful. free events that time of year, such as OC Sand Fest. Exactly. So other great free yep. family events up yep. and down the boardwalk. So it's really a fabulous time to come to Ocean it is. City. It really is. It's a great time. I know the water temperature is still warm. If you want to get in that last little vacation before school or even to come down when, like you said, there's no waits in restaurants, there's no lines. And it's a great time for families with small children mm -hmm. too. Very Absolutely. easy very, to very navigate true. around town. Absolutely. So Hotel Week, check it out. It will save you lots of money if you want to head to Ocean City and get a vacation at the beach. Great, good to know. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm always amazed at how many great free events Ocean City offers and it was really great to talk to my tourism cohorts and find out all the great things to do. But now we're heading up to Rehoboth and we're going to talk to Rex Rogosh and he has R squared and he always has great ideas for your house or beach house. So let's head up there and see what he's talking about this week. Hi, welcome to Reasonable Refined Design. I'm your host Rex Rogosh of R squared Home and Design here at 39 Baltimore Avenue in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Hey guys, it's springtime. You know what springtime means? It means opening up the beach house to you and your guests. So today I want to show you a couple of cool pieces of furniture that we have here at R Squared that's going to get you ready and ready for all those guests that are going to show up as soon as beach time happens. So guess what? For example, this sofa that I'm sitting on is actually a twin size bed. It comes in a couple of different colors and with the removal of a couple of pillows and throwing some sheets on it, you'll have a twin size bed in no time. So that surprise guest has a place to sleep. Let me show you how it converts really quickly. So all we have to do on this is release a few pieces of Velcro. That cushion actually doubles as your head cushion. Throw the pillows here just for some extra comfort. Throw this one to the side. Throw your sheet on and relax. You have more than one friend coming over? Oh boy. And you don't have room for them? Well, this awesome couch that I'm sitting on actually converts into a queen size bed without you having to pull it out away from the wall and no sleeping on bars anymore. The cushion is actually the mattress. So let me show you how to convert this really quickly and you'll have room for those extra guests that you're about to have over. All right, so let's convert this really quick. Just gonna set these aside. Now watch this. Queen size bed, ready for two. So are you ready this spring to convert your house as we converted this furniture to get all those guests ready for the beach? Come see me at R Squared and I'll show you more. Located on the Asa Woman Bay in the 45th Street Village in Ocean City, Maryland, Asa Woman Bay Brew Pub and Restaurant offers a casual atmosphere welcoming families, foodies, and beer geeks alike. Enjoy breathtaking sunsets with our bayfront view, locally brewed craft beers, two full-service bars serving handcrafted cocktails, and a chef-inspired gastro pub menu. We can accommodate any size gathering, bayfront beach perfect for an intimate sunset wedding or events. The Asa Woman Bay Brew Pub. This is not your average watering hole. Those were some great ideas when you have extra guests coming to stay with you in the summer and uh, I, I thought that was great. Great, great information. So we're heading up to Fishtails. We're going to be talking to Sean and finding out what's going on at Fishtails. Monday, 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 August 1st. That's good. I like that that it's what on a that? Monday what, now. What happens? It's on a Monday now. I like well, that. What happens? First of all, the, the uh, Clamming for a Cure kayak race at Fishtails Relay Relay is on a Monday now, thanks to the Starboard Lounge. <laughs> the Starboard, the Starboard can't come here on Sundays because they have a big, they have a big Bloody Mary thing, yeah. which we've emulated with our Bloody Mary thing on Sunday. Nearly not, not nearly as big as theirs. Well, that's but, always up been a spot. Always been. But a spot they asked us thing. to move it so they could bring two teams down. So now it's interstate. I think it's uh, I think it's going to be a fantastic contest this year. It's Monday, August first. You know it's co-ed, right? You can win you know a lot. That means right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, it's a co-ed <laughs> relay race. 
Man and a woman. Yes. It's co-ed. Yes. <laughs> Don't have to be married. <laughs> So we're going to race these things. We have them right here, and we're standing right here at the boat ramp at Bahia Marina. This is where the This the is kayaks, a drama spot right here. This is where the kayaks launch from. Everybody's hooting and hollering and cheering. It's a big deal. Monday, August 1st. You want to be here at, at Fishtail. Can I tell them what they have to do? Yeah, go ahead. All right, so you, you row out in your kayak. You got to find a clam. You have to hand that off to the judges because that gives us clams later to eat. And then you come back in and tag off on your thing, on your partner, and they go, and we run heats. And at the end, the first guy back at the last heat, he wins thousands of dollars of stuff. They win. Lots he, of she, prizes. Right. It's a, uh, a co-ed relay race. And, there's, <laughs> and let's, let's not forget, there's awesome, awesome auction. We have a silent auction. Everybody in town gives us stuff. We have uh, Kerry Distributors, who does Coors Light, has given us a green egg, tabletop green egg. Well, that, the entire you know, event is a fundraiser. It's, it, all it, go, it all goes to breast cancer through the uh, Poor Girls Open. It's but, clamming for a cure but it was at the It was 25% of the money we donated last year. So. August 1st, we're at 22nd Street right here in Ocean City. Get your team signed up for this event. If you're in the hospitality industry, definitely get some pride in your business. If you're just hanging out on vacation, definitely bring the family over and compete. How many, how many people on each team? Two. Go ahead. A boy and a girl. Now, that said, we like 32 teams is cool because it's a perfect bracket. We'll work with less or more. Um, and it doesn't conflict with any other event in Ocean City that we're aware of. We made sure that we didn't we didn't conflict with the canoe race because that's a flipping tradition from forever. Like twenty nine tradition. Like twenty nine years. I mean it's like like you expect it's like the White Marlin Open. This is one of the coolest events in Ocean City all season. It's the, I don't even know how many years now, but we're at the Kayak Clam, it's called Clamming for a Cure. I call it the Kayak Clam Race. We're at Fishtails, Bahia Marina, 22nd Street, Monday, August 1st, noon? Hmm? <laughs> so funny about that. Uh, yeah, you I want me to show you on the menu? Yeah. yeah. Just get, get your team signed up right now. You want to have a good time, come out and spectate this thing too. It's great. It's a great time. It's for a good cause. All right, real quick before we get out of here, we do have to mention a couple other events coming up at Fishtails and Bahia Marina, 22nd Street, Bayside. Of course, now, Christmas. Why am I even here? I mean, Christmas in July. Christmas in July. Uh, bring a toy. Uh, we have Christmas dinner as our special that day. Toys for Tots? Toys for Tots is where it goes to. We give it to... Uh, we give it to the sheriff's department and they, they distribute. Santa so, Claus is gonna come on. Santa Claus will come by jet ski. Uh, Danielle said there'll be turkey and ham this year. July 25th, Santa Claus will be here for Christmas in July. We have goodies for the kids. And uh, you can come see the new uh, new playground. Santa's gonna be like miffed. There's He's some, not gonna know where to sit. There's some big events coming up in Ocean City. You got the White Marlin Open, and then the week after the White Marlin Open, you got the Poor Girls Open right here at Bahia Marina. The biggest event. Ladies, you wanna have the best time of your life? Talk to the folks at the Bahia Marina Tackle Shop about the Poor Girls Open, the greatest time you'll ever have. It's a ladies only billfish release fishing tournament. Oh, I, there's no need for me to be here. You, buddy. We're out. Take a kid fishing. Excellent. Good boy. Hi, this is Warren Rosenfeld from Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli. Yes, there really is a Jewish Deli on Delmarva. We're located in Ocean City, right on Coastal Highway. We serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Come taste our real corned beef and pastrami, our knishes, fantastic Rubens, smoked fish, matzo ball soup, and all of our other dishes that will take you back to the best Jewish delis of days gone by. Eat in, carry out, or bring home some great stuff for your fridge. One visit and you'll know why we say, treat your belly to our Jewish deli. Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli, Ocean City, Maryland. So make sure you head over to Fishtails for the Clam Kayak Relay. Either watch or as a participant. Next, we're heading over to the all-new Ocean City Fish Company. We're going to be talking to Joe, and we're going to see that fabulous all-new menu and his great, great crab cakes. Hi, I'm Joe from the Ocean City Fish Company, and I wanted to give you a, a tour of our new deck bar that we just built this past spring. It's a year-round area. Uh, we have clear doors that roll up when it's nice and warm outside, and we can roll them down when it's a little bit chillier or even through the winter. We have a two-sided fireplace out here, brand new 40-seat bar, lots of regular tables and high-top tables, a great view of the whole marina, the harbor. You could sit out here and watch the boats going in and out. 
You can also watch a couple of the fishermen uh, working their boats over on the, on the harbor side and then uh, enjoy some great food out here as well. We're going to show you how to make a couple of our most popular dishes out here as well. We're going to start today with some sautéed mussels. And we're going to use fresh Prince Edward Island mussels, which in my opinion are the best mussels around, fresh uh, garlic, minced garlic, uh, clarified butter, and we're also going to use some uh, white wine. We use Chardonnay here. But um, let's start off a little bit with just a little bit of butter on medium-high heat. And we give you a generous portion of mussels. We put about a, about a pound in there. Once you let your mussels get going just a little bit, you're going to go ahead and add a little bit of your white wine and some minced garlic. And you're going to cover this. It's only going to take a couple minutes to steam up. You're already going to start smelling that aroma and the flavor right in the pan coming out. And the more you can smell it, I'm telling you it's getting done. All right, we're going to take a peek at them. They're opened up. So we'll put just a little bit more wine in there. And you're going to give that wine a chance to cook down. You don't want the raw flavor of the wine in the, in the dish. They're all opened up. All the wine's cooked off, you no longer smell the alcohol smell coming off of them, and the garlic smells like it's cooked as well. It's not burnt, that's why you use clarified butter. Dump them right in your bowl. Man, they smell good, I wish you could smell them. And you're gonna garnish with just a little bit of uh, dry parsley on top and around the side. We serve this with two pieces of uh, toasted garlic bread best part you eat all your clams when you get done the broth in the bottom with the, the garlic bread is is really the the best meal right there Good. want the freshest local seafood want to know where your seafood's coming from do you want the convenience of a fresh seafood market without the high prices found at the beach then the Salty Wave Seafood Market in Harrington, Delaware is your place for fresh seafood, steamed crabs and shrimp, plus fresh made fish baskets and sandwiches. Let your family enjoy the fresh taste of our local waters. Stop by today. Salty Wave Seafood, located on the corner at the Route 14 Light in Harrington. You know that little moment that means a lot? A kind word, a simple touch, a warm smile? Now imagine that moment multiplied by thousands in consulting rooms, ERs, and surgeries, in clinics and classes, workplaces and homes, in the daily lives of half a million people each year. This is a level of care that can help our whole community live well. This is Peninsula Regional Medical Center, part of Peninsula Regional Health System. And if you haven't been to the Ocean City Fish Company, you need to head down there because it is absolutely beautiful. From here, we're heading over to the Ocean City Golf Club and we're gonna be talking to Buddy Sass and he's gonna be giving us some of his great golf tips as usual. Welcome back to another edition of Talking About Golf. I'm Buddy Sass, your host professional here at the Ocean City Golf Club. And we're here on this beautiful summer day in Ocean City to talk a little bit about rates and what a great time it is to play golf here in town. You know, most of the courses uh, in the spring and the fall, they have their top rates and there's a lot of traffic on the golf courses. But right now, in the summer, July, August, it is a great time to play golf. Many of the courses are in top condition, the best they'll be all year. But the best part is the rates drop. And most of the courses uh, will break their rates several times during the day. And here at Ocean City, we break our rates at 12 and at 2. So here on the Newport Bay course where we're $85 in the morning, it drops to 60 at noon and then 40 at 2. Still plenty of time to get golf in. And if you like it a little cheaper, 
Well, you can come down and play Seaside in the morning, which is, by the way, in awesome condition. Play Seaside in the morning and then uh, uh, for $65, and then at noon you can play for $50, and at 2 you can play for $30. So check your course, your favorite course around town, and check it out and see what kind of offers that they have in the afternoons. You can really get a great deal and play an awesome golf course. Well, let's talk about our tip this week. And I have a lot of people that have a preferred ball flight. In my case, it's a draw. I like to see the ball go right to left. So we're here today on the 10th hole here on Newport Bay. And I just want to give you an example of how you should tee the ball up if you're playing a hook or a slice, okay? So I'm a hooker. I like to see it draw. I'm going to play here from the left side of the tee. Tee my ball up. And what that does is it gives me full use of the fairway. I'm going to start the ball up the right side, right center, and see it draw in. And I get the full 35 yards of fairway by starting on the left and aiming to the right. Conversely, if you're a fader or slicer, why not come over here and work it the other way from left to right? Again, you get all 35 yards of the fairway which is what you want. You stand in the middle, you cut it in half. 18 yards versus 35. I like my chances with 35 yards, regardless of the dog leg. Unless you're a tour player working it both ways, let's play our predominant shot, whether it dog legs to the left or the right. If you're a fader, right side of the tee. If you're a hooker, left side of the tee. We'll see you next time talking about golf. We want you to have a great time. There have never been so many things to do in Ocean City, Maryland. All summer long, you'll find fun things for the whole family to enjoy. All for free in Ocean City. From the Inlet to Northside Park, join us for free concerts, movies, and fireworks on the beach, along with beach light shows, family beach Olympics, and more. There is something free to enjoy almost every day of the week. Come have a great time with us in Ocean City, Maryland. Go to OCOcean.com for more information on free family fun and events. What sets Hobo's apart from other chef-driven restaurants is our meats and poultry are antibiotic hormone and steroid free. Our seafood is wild and sustainable. It's about being a restaurant that actually caters to people, that caters to their dietary needs and to their special dietary restrictions. It's the mom whose kid is allergic to peanuts. This place is an experience. It's not like other restaurants. It's a special place and we hope you'll find your way here. It is a special little world, this journey called Hobo's. Thanks for joining us today on Beach and Beyond. If you're looking for more fun things to do and great ideas for the summer, then tune in next time to get all the great tips and scoop on what is happening at the Beach and Beyond.